Hello everybody, Basilisk Fang here and welcome back to Near Automata. I do not have any sort of concrete plan for this episode other than just trying to tie up loose ends, maybe finish up pod upgrades, maybe get the, definitely need to get that last quest which requires unit data which I don't know how to find all that but we'll get there. Um, maybe some achievements, who knows, we'll do what I can. I'll do what I can, we'll enjoy the game, and I will, uh, well, let's start off with the quest and trying to get unit data and see how long that takes. How about that? All right, ready? Let's go. So one of the units that we're missing is a specific cult member unit from the factory that only shows up during Tubi's escape from the factory, so we have to go to the deranged religion chapter and uh, do to B story and hopefully we can find it because if I complete the chapter without finding them I have to do the whole thing over again I'm not gonna be happy but here we go I don't think I have to travel very far to find the specific thing I'm looking for but I actually don't remember this entire part I might have to travel really far and I'm not gonna be happy apart from the fact that there are definitely certain parts of this game that you have to like actually replay the story to get because you can only do like one ending or the other ending uh, there's just so much stuff that there's like no way you could get it all in one run through like even if you had played the game a ton you would just not remember it all there'd be little things that you missed gosh freaking suicide bomber units i hate them oop i found him there he is okay um so i should have explained it better if you can kind of look up at the top of the screen there you can see that there's a gap in the upper left hand corner in the staircase yeah I fell through that gap and that's how I, that's how I got down here so all right well there is the medium quadruped or whatever the heck they call him and he is the unit that I need are you not going to attack me oop he's gonna attack me oh I just realized they're on a pile of Android bodies that's pleasant Ow, you suck dang all right if I wasn't overpowered that would have been difficult this is just not a pleasant thing to look at if they were writhing, it'd be worse. But that would be a different game entirely. Hey, how you doing? Can I talk to you? Uh, because you have some crazy leaders. The medium quadruped, a four-legged medium-sized machine life form that resembles an animal occasionally seen with smaller machines riding on its back. This unit using a great mobility afforded by its legs, blah, 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 blah. It's basically the same description we get from all the other versions, like the Forest Kingdom version. But, uh, all right, we got that one. On to the next one. So apparently, of the friendly machines, I don't have that Goliath biped in my records. I don't know if that means I'm supposed to kill him, or if that means I just have to talk to him. Hopefully I just have to talk to him, because I'd rather not kill him if I don't have to. Hey buddy, how's it going? Just because I'm big doesn't mean I'm strong. Unit data has been updated. Oh, thank God. Alright, I didn't have to kill him. Alright, that makes me feel better. There we go. Village, Goliath, biped, machine life forms that are part of the colony of Pascal's village. Despite their machine origins, they despise kind of... Is this just the same for all of them? Yeah, all of them had the same thing. Okay. Then onwards to the next one, and to glory. Ooh, a big one. A koi carp. Don't mind if I do. All right. So, I'm apparently missing a late game enemy in the flooded city. It's basically the, what is it, the reverse jointed Goliath or whatever. We see them all over the place, but there's the enhanced version, the one that's red, that I apparently have never fought. For all I know, I've never seen it because I don't think it shows up all the time, but it's also highly likely that even if I have seen it, I just kept running past it because every time I come to the flooded city, it's a waste of time to fight all the enemies, so I just run past a lot of them. I also don't know if it matters if you're playing as 9S or A2, so I guess I'm just gonna have to run around here until I find it. One eternity later. Oh, is that it? Oh! Oh! I have been looking for an hour and a half for this stupid thing. Jeez, I hate you so much. Okay, let me defeat it and I'll tell you the story, because it is... It is not easy to find that thing. Oh, jeez. Okay. New unit data? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes, unit data has been updated. Thank the Lord. Okay, so uh, any of you that are observant will notice that I am not in the same storyline that I left off on. I was with uh, 9S on like Route C and D, and now I'm on 9S on Route B. And the reason for that is basically when they say that the reverse jointed enhanced thing is super rare, 
they mean it's super rare. Like, I thought I was going to have to maybe reload five, ten times before I saw it. I've been reloading non-stop for the past hour and a half in an attempt to even make the thing appear. And I've been flipping through many different save files. So this top file was me playing as 9S on route C and D. The middle file is me playing as 9S on route B. And then the bottom file has been me playing as A2 on route C and D. And there's, I don't, there's so many different stories online of the best way to do this. I don't have any opinion because I've tried all of them, but I just kept reloading all of these, spend 15 to 30 seconds in each one. I don't even know how to describe it. It was it was bonkers. And there it is, the enhanced reverse jointed Goliath. It's got the same description as all the other ones, so we don't need to read that. But we got it. Thank the Lord. Okay, so I know for a fact that we've gotten all the different types of units, but it still says our unit data is 94%, which means we probably haven't gotten every single unit with every single weapon, and I really don't want to have to do that. So I'm gonna go to the to 4S and see if I can turn in the quest now. I'm really hoping I can because I don't want to do this anymore. Come on, Forrest, give me some good news. All right, well, he gave me nothing. So that means I have to find like subtypes and that's going to be a pain in the butt. But no point putting it off any longer. We're just going to do it. So I'm missing the desert version of the medium flyer. So that's the one with the quadcopter type thing going on with the kamikaze subtype or whatever. So that's got the four explosive units instead of like guns or two explosive units and two guns. And I don't know where to find that, but I'm assuming if I hang around the desert long enough, I'll find it. All right, I got one of those. I think that was like a tall stubby or something like that. The enhanced version though. Uh, but at least that's one less thing I have to look for. Hey, if I can check everything else off this list in the process, I am A-OK -okay with that. Somebody's in the wall. Okay, so supposedly because of some glitch in the DLC, the Kamikaze Desert Medium Flyer thing does not spawn as many places as it used to. So it only spawns on, supposedly, Chapter 10, uh, Section 3 or whatever, which is what I'm on right now. So hopefully we'll be able to find it out here in the desert because I wasn't having too much luck finding really any flyers in the desert on Route C. So uh, apparently there used to be there, but then when the DLC came out, uh, the whole thing broke. So we're going to do this now. This is probably why I've never found these units. Is that one? No, those are two regular, like not regular units, but uh, oh, what do you call them? Like hybrid ones with the the kamikaze and the guns, which I don't need. But the what I was saying was, no wonder I haven't found some of these units, because if it's like, hey, you can only find them at this one part of the game, and it's not in an area where the story happens, ooh, is that one up there? If it's not in the area where the story happens, you're not going to find it, and that's what's going on here. I'm supposed to be saving Pascal's village right now from certain destruction, but uh, I'm in the desert instead. Yes, that's one. All right, come on, buddy. Let's get you out of here. Everything goes boom, and we get, hopefully, unit data has been updated. There it is, sweet. Okay, so the next thing on my list is the enhanced Goliath biped with the enhanced leg model or something like that. Uh, basically, the Goliaths that have the electrocuted legs that you don't want to touch, I need the red version of that, and the only place that I can seem to find where it might show up is in the abandoned factory in like Route C and D. So we're gonna go and get A2 and hopefully find it really quickly. These enhanced ones seem to be like purposefully rare to make this a card quest. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be there and it's actually really easy to find. Considering how much time that I've spent in the abandoned factory trying to like do other things and I've never come across it and killed it, I'm guessing it's hard to find. Now here's a question, have I ever used the, the like garment unit thing on a2 when she's wearing this outfit does it even do anything it does stuff to uh, the outfits for 2b and 9s so it seems like it would do something to a2 as well let's see the uh, the dress module that's what it is all right use what does it do have we done this before is there a difference for some reason I don't see a difference what am I missing I'm missing something here oh I think I know what it is she's she's got that sash around her waist it sort of dangles back 
on the left here, I think that's what gets removed if we use the address module, which is, I don't know, not super interesting, I guess you would say. Yeah, that's missing. All right, so if you feel like seeing slightly more clothed thigh or whatever from A2, that's the way to go. But otherwise, what's the point? Nice. I don't need that meteorite, but I've been trying to figure out how to get that stupid chest for a long time. Yoo-hoo, any enhanced units in here? Not seeing any so far. I don't know the strategy. I feel like you can just like leave and come back and eventually get one to spawn, which is what I'm trying to do, but it hasn't worked so far. So the strategy seems to be that if you come into this room and you don't see the robots you want, don't kill anything, leave them alive. What you could do is you can backtrack past all of these frozen crushy things. You could ignore these guys until you get to here and then you start going down the stairs. Then you can just go right back. Apparently, they reset after you do that because sometimes I get different amounts, different numbers, and eventually, very rarely, the Goliath will spawn in there. I think. I haven't actually successfully done it yet. Come on, Goliath, where are you at? Nothing. There he is! About time you showed up, buddy. Thanks for coming in today. Jeez Louise, that took not as long as getting the reverse jointed one. But it took way too long for that to happen. The only saving grace is that I didn't have to actually reload a save to get him to spawn in. I could just keep going back and forth because of something to do with the way the game is programmed. Oh boy, well now I have to try not to die. There we go, unit data's been updated. That's what I like to see. All right, so I'm missing the two variants of the enhanced medium flyer. So the kamikaze and then the kamikaze gunner unit. And those are all in different places. However, I'm pretty sure I can get the kamikaze one pretty easy. It's the, the hybrid one I'm not so sure about, but I have some places to look. So let's see if we can find them in record time. All right, the desert tends to be a pretty good place to look for these flyers. The problem is you have to make sure it's the enhanced version not the regular version. See, this is a, a hybrid one, but that's the regular version. Ouch. And I didn't want the regular version, I want the enhanced version. But I think the cliff where we found the regular desert kamikaze one earlier in the game will have an enhanced kamikaze one now that we're later in the game. Hopefully, we'll see. Let's see, what are you? Are you an enhanced one or a regular one? You look like you might be an enhanced one, which is good for me. Yep, unit data's been updated. We leveled up. Sweet, now I just have to find a hybrid one, which might actually be a little harder than this. Ooh, a chest I've never opened. Medium recovery. Nice. I don't need it, but it's nice. Supposedly, this guy over here is frequently an enhanced hybrid one. Right now, he just looks like a regular one, so that doesn't help me. But we're gonna have to keep reloading this area, I think, over and over until he's finally an enhanced one. I think that's the easiest way to do it, but it's still gonna be like a super rare occurrence. There he is. All right, that didn't take too many tries. This is like my fourth or fifth respawn, so that worked out pretty well for me. Sweet, unit data has been updated. Let me just clear out this area. Ouch, you hit me in the face. Ouch, you hit me in the face again. There we go. We got the regular, the kamikaze, the gunner kamikaze. All right, what's next? All right, so I need an enhanced small sphere with a drill because I already have the gun and axe attachment ones. But I need the drill one, and apparently it spawns in the cave. At least I think it spawns in the cave, which makes sense, because there's definitely been other drill types over here in this cave. But, again, since it's enhanced, it's technically a rare spawn. So hopefully it's just as easy as fighting those medium flyers, because that took about two seconds, but if it's going to end up being like the Goliath biped, or even worse, the reverse jointed Goliath biped, we're going to have some problems. There always seems to be at least one drill variant in here at all times, but it's never like an enhanced one, so that doesn't help me. Oop, there it is! Sweet! Alright, that took longer than I would have liked, but it ultimately didn't take that long. Alright, let us go back and examine what else we need to do. Alright, so we've got another pain in the butt series to do here. So the enhanced linked sphere type, which is like the snake-like things that float, float around and have like the one ball that's a weak point or whatever. Um, I need the drill subtype and the thorn subtype, both of which are rare and both of which basically spawn in specific locations. So one of them spawns out here in the desert. I'm not entirely sure where, but uh, hopefully I'll find it quickly. 
And then the other one spawns in the flooded city, which I had just, you know, done and never found it, which means that the one that is there spawns two different variants and the one that I'm missing is the rarer variant, which does not help me. So, yay, we're going to have some fun. Oop, there he is. That did not take very long. Thank God. All right. I will take this. It only took me two attempts. Thank you. All right, so the last sphere type appears here in the flooded city, except it appears very rarely. So you can see the guy floating around over there, and I can already tell you that's not the guy I want. A, it doesn't look enhanced, and B, it has a gun on the front. I don't want that. I want the enhanced with just the thorns and no gun. So I'm going to reload. Oh, ooh, wait, that might be it. That's definitely a thorn type, but is it an enhanced thorn type or a regular thorn type? Oh, I hope that's enhanced. It's looking like it might be enhanced. Come on, come on. Yes, unit data has been updated. Thank the Lord, that took forever. It didn't take as long as that uh, reverse jointed Goliath or whatever the heck, but it took a long time to get that. I went, I went and started dinner. Ever since I started looking for that, it took so long I went and started dinner. Dinner's cooking right now. Anyway, what else do we need to get? So as far as I can tell, I have all the unit data. I have all the variations. It says I only have 99% though. I'm not really sure what that's about. Best I can think to do is go and talk to 4S and see if he has anything to say. I'm really afraid we're missing something though, and I've already been doing this for four and a half hours. All right, come on 4S, give me some good news. Give me some good news. More enemy data, eh? I appreciate it. It's great having another scanner helping me out. Thanks to you, I've gathered the data 60% faster than I'd planned. I wonder how long we'll be doing this. It's not like we your high androids have a home to return to. Yeah, but gathering intelligence is still important. It's a huge support for the war effort. I know that. Sorry, Nines. I didn't mean to yell at you. Anyway, this chunk of data you brought means I finally hit my goal. Yes! I'd like you to have this. It belonged to an old friend, but I think you'd be happy to know that you're using it. it your friend just had a bunch of junk? See you around, Nines. And remember, no regrets, okay? We need to think about what we're going to do from this point forward. Thanks for everything. Thank the Lord we're done. I don't know why it only gives me 99% of the unit data. The only thing I can think of is that there are, um, there's DLC enemies that I have not faced yet. We might see them in a future episode. Uh, and maybe it counts those for this unit data calculation, but 4S does not rely on those. 4S just relies on the base game stuff. That's the only thing I can think of because I don't actually know. But lordy lord, I'm glad we're done with that. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I certainly appreciate it. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I've been recording for five hours to try and get the rest of that unit data, most of which was spent trying to get the reverse jointed Goliath thing because that took forever to show up. Some of the other ones took a while too, but that one took the longest for sure. But, uh, you know, I didn't, you don't need to see that stuff. So once I edit all that out and only put in the commentary and things like that, this is like a five, 10 minute video. Hopefully that saves me a lot of work from the editing standpoint, if that's true. But we got that out of the way. That means we've done all the quests in the game, but there are still little things here and there for us to do. So we'll be doing this again next week. And I hope to see you there. Thanks again. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.